Chevy. Are you going to daycare for the first time today? Oh, it's so exciting. We make some new friends. Maybe make a girlfriend. morning everybody we're waiting for baby to show up it's 11 days today and today is a big day for Chevy because he's starting daycare this way he can make some new friends he can get his energy out because in winter time it's hard for him to get his energy out we live in a smaller house we do have a nice fenced yard but it, it's cold he doesn't he sort of spends winter sort of you know laying around for the most part because it's too cold to go outside so we figure we bring him to daycare let him make some new friends and get his energy out it's his first day today are you all ready for daycare chevy you gonna be a good boy yeah excited let's go let's go <laughs> chevy chevy you excited He's so excited. He has no idea what's going on. We've been talking it up for a couple days. <laughs> you know something's going on. Oma and Opa were over last night and Oma was talking it up too. We meet all the girls. Maybe the stud of the show. So to speak. Fixed stud. Like I was saying earlier, we figured we'd uh, get Chevy into daycare. Get some of his energy out and get him socialized a little bit. Diesel's a little bit old. He runs around in the backyard for a while and he's tired. And grouchy. And grouchy. He doesn't really like strange dogs very much. Mm -hmm. Gear. <laughs> he thinks we brought him to the doctor because this is the same place as he gets all his needles. <laughs> <laughs> they tricked me! That's cruel. No. Maybe your future girlfriend's inside, eh? <laughs> you never know. Well, we're 10 minutes late. We better get in there. Well, he was very nervous. He's very nervous. We just dropped them off in there. They're bringing them in. Yeah, he was crying. He was probably feeding off our anxiety a little bit too. A strange place, and he's staying with strange people. So it'll. It'll take him a little while to associate this place with good things. Exactly, we just hope that he has a blast and next time we bring him in, he's excited to be here. Yeah. This is exactly why he needs to be here though. He needs to be socialized a little more and exposed know, to new experiences. Yeah, know that it's okay to be away from, from us for a few hours at a time, that we're coming back, that he's not being abandoned here or something. Exactly. Makes new friends. And maybe this way when new people come to our house, then he won't be so over like, overly crazy excited. excited I think he still will be I Probably. think that's just part of being a golden retriever to be honest with you <laughs> yeah. it's almost time to go pick up Chevy mm -hmm. you didn't get any uh, phone calls saying he was a bad boy so let's hope he he had a blast and wasn't too terribly nervous mm -hmm. I hope <laughs> yeah if he did good this would be more of a regular thing that he can go and yeah. spend some time with other dogs and people other than us and see the world a little bit exactly. outside this little house and yard exactly yeah kind of nervous though expand his horizons beyond this uh senior center we we're running here yeah <laughs> got two seniors over there got another senior probably snoozing away snoring on our bed <laughs> we also had a, a doctor appointment mm -hmm. for the baby that went well, right? Yep, measuring 37 and a half centimeters. 
Yeah, all's well. His heart rate's around 140 now, so it's starting to drop a little bit, which is totally normal in late stage pregnancy. And yeah. 11 well. days? 11 days. 11 days from filming this. By the time you watch this, it'll be even closer. Burst. We're talking on the way back here. I was saying, I understand why it's hard for parents to, you know, see their kids go off to school for the first day or daycare or whatever. Because we just dropped like Chevy off for daycare in someone else's care. That's all we can think about. I'm just like, oh boy, I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. I thought about, because it's only a, we are only dropping him off for half days. So I think that's all he needs. But like, I thought about calling them at the two hour mark to check in on them. And then I was like, no, don't be that parent, Brittany. If there's a problem, they'll call. Embarrass him in front of all of his friends. <laughs> Chevy, your mommy's calling. <laughs> But we gotta leave in uh, just a few minutes now. Well, we could probably leave now already. Yeah, we were a little bit late though, so we'll be a little bit late picking him up. But I hope he, I hope he thrived, and I hope he played, mm -hmm. and I hope he's super tuckered out and got lots of exercise. You miss your brother? We're gonna go get him right now. Okay, you can go get him. We're gonna bring him home. You saw him outside. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all good. No rush. <laughs> he got a report card too. Very good report card. Chevy fit right into today's group. He was calm, easygoing, and well mannered. He played well with others and listened to staff. He also loved getting treats and head scratches. <laughs> That's my boy. Oh, oh, you have fun. So Chevy, how was it? How was it? You ready to go home? Your brothers miss you. He's having fun. Yeah. I'm glad you were well mannered. Ready to go home now, Chef? Go home see Diesel? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Let's go get Diesel. Alright. Let's go get Diesel. Is he in his room? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's back. Thanks for bringing my boy you back. Thank you. I'm gonna go bug him now. This is now my project. The time has come to clean this place up and organize it. I'm gonna get started today on it. We're gonna first of all get old blue out of here, free up some space, bring in the terrain. I'm uh, cleaning it off and sticking on one of those. Uh, baby on board stickers on the back window uh, the reason we put those stickers on the vehicle is so that if the vehicle is ever involved in an accident first responders immediately know that there's a baby inside so they can save the baby first so i'm putting that on today because like we said earlier 11 days 11 days left and there really will be a baby on board so old blue we're going to detail you this month going to polish you up you're going to look so pretty. But that's not today, okay? I don't mean to be mean, but today is not your day. Not yet, okay? We're going to get this headache rack polished right up to a mirror finish. You guys want to go outside? Oh, oh, watch out. There's a wiener behind you, Chevy. Ow! Hey! All right, all right, let me get my side shoes on. Wiener, are you still here? Wiener, come on. Come on to the front. Come on. There we go. All right, let's go. And off they go.
I didn't get quite as much done at the shop as I wanted to, but I never do. We'll continue tomorrow. Come on, Diesel. Come on, Diesel. Oh boy. And I believe this is the last big thing I have to put together. This is the playpen and change table combined that uh, is going to be in the living room. She's getting there. It's been a bit of a process. I think this is the probably the most frustrating thing you've put together yet, eh? Just bad instructions. Yeah, bad instructions, yeah. <laughs> Greyco has much better instructions. This is a uh, in, in fans. Yeah. But we're getting there. He's got the, the change table put on there. He's got the bassinet part. We gotta put on the canopy yet and the what you call it? Like the diaper organizer and stuff. Do you think parents design these things? Nah, can't be. There we go, that's a little safer. It's just Velcro, but it should be on the outside because that would be easy. Put it down, secure it, done. But they don't aim for easy. But, yeah, this this brand has made everything very, very difficult. Graco is very straightforward and very easy to assemble, easy to disassemble, easy to understand, and it it seems like Graco was designed by parents, for parents. This seems like it was designed by some corporation who wanted to cut corners. My bad, I chose this one. It's a nice, it's a nice it's one. It's gonna be really, really nice. It's just a pain in the butt to get together and disassemble. It's just a nice one, just the little things like this, like the securement to secure this changing table. Why is it way on the inside here? Not to lift this thing up, I've gotta like dig underneath here on this side. And dig underneath here on this side. Meanwhile, there's a baby probably in here or around here, maybe on top of here. So you're like digging underneath here, trying to get this un. And remember, you got to keep one hand on the baby, regardless of whether there's a seatbelt yeah. there, a little belt there or not. And then you can fold this over like this. <laughs> Whereas convenient. Common sense. What I think Graco would have done. I'm not sponsored by Graco or anything. Maybe I should be. I'm quite a fan. It would have been so much easier just to put this down and have the Velcro on the outside, done. It's true. And then to lift it up, you just grab the Velcro from the outside, <laughs> lift it up. But it'd be less pretty that way. And they're focused on the pretty. Yeah. Got it. Functional. And I am just sitting here, being lazy. Well, I'm tired. I'm always tired now. But uh, Frank and I, we're just snuggling. Got some of the other guys over here. The seniors, if you can see. Diesel. Wiener's over there. Chevy's probably having quiet time in his room. Today I was diagnosed with a mild case of gestational hypertension. So I've now decided to stop going so hard. <laughs> and unfortunately I have to put down the reins to the vacuum. And let someone else take control. Hey babe. I got it. <laughs> it out. That's what he's here for, to help me out. So, I don't like just sitting. Not a big fan, but but that's okay. It's for the little guy. And, uh, well, I guess, and for my own health. But, at least it's just a mild case, and it is not preeclampsia. And there it is, in all its glory. After all that struggle. You'd think that they would make it a little bit sturdier, but they didn't. Maybe I'm a little uh, bit of a critical new parent to be. But uh, that's good. Uh, it'll do just fine. It's got the canopy for naps. You take this change table. You can fold it right around like this. Now you got one massive bassinet. Yep. And then when baby gets older, you take the bassinet, that layer out of there, and it drops down a level, and then it's a playpen. It's a little jail. A little baby jail. When he's acting up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, straight to jail. Straight. straight to jail. Yeah, we like it. Mm -hmm. It's going to come in very handy in here. Mm -hmm. We don't really need the clutter in here, but, I mean, it's for his convenience and ours. So, thanks for hanging out with us today. That last piece was assembled. It wasn't, uh, it, it was, you could tell it was from a different brand. I explained that already.
but uh, it'll do just fine. It'll be great. It'll it'll do what it's what it's meant to do, which is baby jail. <laughs> Uh, it starts off as a bassinet and a change table, right? But once the baby grows into a little toddler or whatever, and then you take the bassinet out, you put the change table, you take that out, and then it's it, the floor goes down, and then it's a play place, right? And it's not baby jail, it's a play place. You go and play around in there, and we don't have to worry about you, you know, running around or getting into trouble. <laughs> anyway, so uh, tomorrow's another day. Uh, tomorrow it'll be 10 days to delivery day. See you then.